Hey, it's Karen from the Shabby Attic. Just wanted to say hi and hope you're not snowed in too bad. We're pretty snowed in over here, so we're trying not to eat too much. Try not to watch too much TV, but I don't know if it's working. So anyway, I hope you're well where you, wherever you are. Um, if you saw my most recent post, our status talks about how we're going to get a YouTube channel started with lots of helpful tips and pointers, and I hope it really is helpful to you for all you folks out there doing your upcycle projects. So anyway, to kick it off, I wanted to give you some pointers tonight um, as to how to get your furniture uh, started if you want to paint it and um, here goes nothing. So first thing you want to do is take your piece of furniture and you want to sand it. Uh, we recommend uh, 60 to 80 grade sandpaper. The lower the numbers, the heavier the sandpaper or the more grit you have on it. So the higher numbers, the more fine it is. So you want to do that first. You want to sand it. Sand it pretty good and it's going to create a, a rough surface for the uh, paint to grab onto. Then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to prime your piece of furniture. You use a roller or however you want to do it. Use a roller or brush. doesn't really matter, but I always swear by oil-based primer, like kills, that kind of thing. Um, always you use oil-based. It's a little on the stinky side, so ventilate well, but that's your best bet if you want your paint to stick and if you don't want it to be chippy down the road. Then you're going to very lightly, you're going to sand it again. And this time you're going to use around um, a 120 paper. So you're going to kind of go up in the numbers as you go along. Then once that dries, you want to let it cure for about 24 hours. And then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to put your first, first coat of paint on. Once that dries, then you're going to sand it again. And this time you're going to use a um, about 120. You can even go up to 220. It gets all the little stuff off of the piece so that uh, whatever's in your roller, your brush, whatever's in the air, sometimes things get stuck in it. It makes it smooth again. So uh, then once that dries for about know, about 24 hours, you're going to put it, um, you're going to paint it again, your final coat, and then you're going to go up to about a 220 piece of sandpaper and you're going to give it a final sanding. And hopefully if you follow that process, um, that's going to be pretty durable for you. I just use regular latex paint that you could get at the, any hardware store or even Walmart sells that kind of paint. So I hope that's helpful to you. At some other point I'll address chalk paint. That's a whole nother, that's a whole nother paint world. So, But these are the basics um, that I started off with once I started painting furniture. So I'm very excited. I hope you guys have a great night. Look forward to doing these videos for you. So try not to eat too much. Try not to be too cranky about being snowed in and try not to kill the kids. Anyway, have a good night. Love you all. Bye.